In my last video, I talked about the concept of layers in design and showed you Photoshop, Affinity Publisher, PowerPoint, and Canva, and showed how each of them has layers and how to arrange layers from front to back, as well as how to change the opacity. And so in this one, I want to talk about the concept of flattening because flattening is basically the process of squishing all of our layers together into one. So it's essentially merging all of our layers into one. So why would you want to do that? Well, one important reason is if you are selling something using design elements from other people, maybe you've got them off of a stock site or something like that, if, you, if they are not public domain, you need to abide by the licensing terms which often have some sort of clause that you need to combine them with other elements in order to resell them because you need to be able to create a new and unique work out of them. So I am in Canva at the moment and I have got a flower element, a piece of text, a little star shape, and a background here. And so I am going to export this in a couple different formats so that you can see what each of them looks like flattened. So I'm going to just start out by PNG and JPEG are going to be similar. So I'm just going to pick one. With PNG, you have the option of a transparent background. So I'm only going to do one or the other. So we'll just download this one. And we'll just put it to the downloads. And then I'm going to do also a PDF. It doesn't matter which one you really pick for this. And I'm going to download that. So, and the last one on both of your PDF options, you have the option to flatten your PDF. So let's do a flattened PDF. And I'm going to just change this one to flat. Okay. So depending how you open these up, let's, let's go take a look for them. Depending how you open these up, what software, you will see different things. So let's take our standard PDF and let's open it with just the previewer. And so when I click around, nothing happens. It's all one image, okay? This is the standard PDF that we did not flatten. The same thing's gonna happen if I open the PNG. I can't do anything with that. And if I were to open this PDF in the free Adobe Reader, same thing would happen if you were to open it. Let's see if we can open it in Chrome here. Yeah, we can. So let's open it in Chrome. Again, not editable. I can click on anything, nothing happens. Okay, so let's take a software like Affinity Publisher, and I'm going to go to File, Open, and go to Downloads, and I'm going to open this PDF. This was the one we did not flatten. I'm just going to let all the defaults be the same, and then I'm also going to open in another tab the flattened one. All right, so we can already see the difference if you were paying attention to our layers. So in this one, the whole thing is a single image. Everything has been combined onto a single layer. And again, if the concept of layers, if you're just joining us for this video and you are not understanding layers, I have a separate video that talks about layers. So this was our plain PDF here. And uh, my letters got a little messed up here for one thing which is actually good because let's just look at how I can edit this. Remember, this is a PDF that I entered in here. I can change the font. I can go to this and I can change the color. I can select on this image. I could turn all of this off. And I can take this flower, move it over here, and then I can go to my document setup. I can put on a transparent background. I can now export this as a PNG and use it in another design. So 
as a seller, that is something you need to be mindful about is how you deliver your products to people. They do have the ability to extract elements, which is usually prohibited by almost every license out there, except for public domain stuff, which you can do whatever you want with. But if it's licensed to you and you sell a PDF that hasn't been flattened, they can actually take it into a program like this and just... To continue on with the illustration here, let's just open this with Acrobat Pro. Now, like I said, regular Acrobat Reader, the free thing that you can download, is not going to have that option. But here we have the option to edit PDF, and you'll see that I can click on all these elements again. So I can highlight my words, and I can change the colors of those. I can get the star and I could just, I can get rid of this background altogether. Now I don't work in Acrobat Pro very often, so I don't know if I can just hide this, but I can for sure delete it. And I could delete this star, I could delete this. I can edit the text to say, believe, Instead, I even got two different fonts now because I typed it in a different, kind of like that effect. I typed it in a different font, but I can also just isolate this. And I, again, I'm not super familiar with Acrobat Pro, so I don't know if we can turn this into a transparent background, but we could for sure export this as a JPEG on a white background. So there's two popular programs that you can actually extract elements very easily as a customer if the seller has delivered you an ordinary PDF. And so going back to Publisher, again, if you flatten your PDF, you create something that your customer cannot extract elements. So the other thing to be mindful of is what your customer is expecting to be able to do with it. If they're expecting to be able to edit it, like for example, it's a wedding invitation and they want to be able to take it into a program and change up the colors, change up the fonts, and you're just providing them with the starting design, they will expect it to be editable. So in that case, you need to be very mindful of the licensing of any elements you use from other sources that are not something you created yourself. So um, the whole concept of licensing is kind of beyond the scope of this video, but I did want to show you a flattening to let you know what can and can not happen with the different export formats. So again, a, a JPEG or a PNG, in fact, let's just... Uh, Let's go to a different document. I'm just going to place my PNG that I created just for completeness sake here. Let's do that. And so here is the image that I did in a PNG format. And you can see here, let me turn off the underlayers, that this is also just a single image. You cannot extract anything from this. I can crop it. I can move it around and let's crop it. So, you know, I could take this and attempt to just crop this flower out. But I can't get rid of the background and I can't get rid of the fact that there's this breathe here, at least not easily. You could conceivably do some Photoshop magic with this, but this is not easily extractable, which is usually the acid test. You know, anything is possible for someone who wants it hard enough. So anyways, that is flattening and I hope you found that helpful. If there's anything that's unclear or that I didn't cover sufficiently, please leave a comment and I will try and add that to another video. Thanks.